Um, we now proceed to um, Simeon Borisov, who will talk about uh, genetic diversity in Orthoptera in the Balkans. And I have to say there is no pointer, so for the speakers after me, um, uh, please try to address at what locality people, especially online, should look uh, for if you wanted to point at Simon. Good morning. Um, good morning, everyone. We are. Uh, I'm going to present uh, some preliminary data from the Balkan, um, from the north eastern Balkan Peninsula. So we choose an uh, interesting uh, model group, the Cilimon Brunneri. Uh, this species complex has uh, four. Uh, existing species, uh, however, some of them show, um, as you can see on the right, uh, some intermediate characteristics, uh, especially for the form of the Cersei. Uh, there are differences in the prefer <coughs> sorry, in the habitat preference uh, in the in the southern parts. Uh, Pecilimon Bruneri and Pecilimon Macedonicus um, prefer sub-Mediterranean sub dry grasslands. Uh, on the other side, Pecilimon Fusi uh, in parts of North, Bul uh, North, North Bulgaria and uh, to the west reaching Hungary uh, shows preference to uh, meadows and uh, mesic meadows. And the third one, Petrimono clinicus, uh, its typical form prefers uh, 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 distinguished step habitats. So here we decided with all these uh, variants to uh, consider them as separate populations and uh, restore their phylogenetic relations and test for ecological uh, diversification. This is uh, roughly the distribution of the the three taxa that we uh, look at more. Uh, we focus more in the study area in North uh, Bulgaria and Romania and Moldova. Uh, we have the Petsilimon ucrinicus typical form in the steppe habitats. Uh, in the middle parts of the country, including uh, parts of the lower, the lower parts of the Balkan mountains, is Petsilimon fusi, and this is the form that reaches Central Europe. However, in the middle there is uh, some uh, intermediate unclear form. First, we uh, reconstructed mitochondrial phylogeny of the NAD2 gene. Uh, due to the, the fact that these are young species, young taxa, they shared uh, uh, a common aster very recently. Therefore, they didn't have enough time to accumulate S and P's, uh, and the the mitochondrial tree was not um, uh, very successful in uh, resolving the phylogeny. Therefore, uh, we uh, we attempted to reconstruct nuclear phylogeny based on the ITS-1 and the ITS-2 fragments. Uh, here the results were better in uh, terms of uh, resolution. Uh, we, can see, we can see here 
data Simon Macedonicus uh, has uh, branched out first and is uh, clearly a distinct species according to this result. Uh, but the other clade uh, remains, with, uh, remains with some unresolved uh, issues. For example, um, some of the populations at the, at the top of the tree uh, Petsilvano clinicus and, Petsil uh, and Petsilvano bruneri show very mixed uh, pattern with the CFC. Uh, however, further, further research is needed for to uh, distinctly say if Petsilvano fusi and clinicus are synonyms. Also, uh, so, uh, the calling songs, the bioacoustic communication should be probably studied more, more carefully. But for now, we have uh, another approach. We uh, established a logical niche model of the typical form Pizzimono clinicus, and we see that uh, here results are preliminary, and uh, however, we have used only the world clean variables. Uh, after making a correlation test, we chose 10 variables that performed the best and uh, created uh, this maximum entropy uh, ecological niche model. Here in red, just uh, to, to say it very short, we have the 10 percentile training presence and in green the minimum training presence. And we can see that the 10 percentile is uh, really concentrated in northeast Bulgaria and Romania, uh, while the other Petsilimon Fusi and the points of Petsilimon Fusi does not correspond to the 10 percentile area of the Petsilimon Clinicus. They don't uh, fit to this region. So, uh, despite these results are uh, not finished, not um, uh, very conclusive, we have some support that there is uh, some ecological uh, differentiation in the Petsilimono Clinicus line. For future research, one very promising uh, variable is continentality. Uh, the difference between the very warmest and coldest uh, month temperature. So we, uh, we had, uh, plan to use these uh, layers for this uh, continentality to, to see if uh, it has uh, some role in in the ecological adaptations, in the evolution of uh, species. O also, we must consider the last glacial maximum, which was uh, much drier, and we, we maybe expect uh, that Petsilimono clinicus will increase its uh, area in such conditions. And uh, our main hypothesis to test in the future is uh, to what extent the place to send glacial oscillations affected the evolution and the uh, high, and resulted in this high diversity in the group. I want to thank the National Science Fund of Bulgaria for supporting the research and uh, we want to thank you for your attention. Thank you. Are there any questions for Simeon? No, there are not. Are there on, any online? Yes. Uh, 
Klaus Riede is speaking to us from Spain and he, uh, he asks if acoustic communication is involved in this study. Okay, uh, so far not, but uh, it will also be considered to as additional support for any species delineations. Okay, oh, another question there. Uh, hello, my name is Apostoli Stefanidis. Uh, one question, I didn't understand uh, what is training presence? Um, yeah, maybe I didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't pay much attention on the methodology. Uh, this, this is concerns the highest probability for the model, for the occurrence of Ukrainicus. Yes. And uh, I, I will, oh, Dragan Chubanov, sorry. Uh, I, I wanted to clarify a bit for the songs. Uh, so, um, we haven't studied in detail, but Ukrainicus and Fusi are pretty much the same. Brunery differs in song, but still you, you've seen the mixed genetic pattern, so there is more to study. There's always more to study. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Simeon. Thank you.